I think there's more or less enough for me to talk. I think it's time for me to pass uh, 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 to the first speaker, to first of our guest speaker. We're going to have two guest speakers, as you all know. Uh, one from Germany, one from Greece. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm very happy to introduce our guest speaker from Germany, which is, who is Katrin Smith. Uh, she is uh, the owner of a, a bookshop in uh, Lise Zeichen in, uh, in Germany, in uh, Germering. And uh, she's owner of a 200 square meter bookshop since 2006. She, uh, a bookshop that uh, has more, you know, books like uh, fiction on fiction, uh, children books, travel literature. She will tell more about it, I'm sure, Catherine. And she quotes, and I love that, that since she started uh, doing the book selling, be, being in the book selling business, she loves matching people together with a book that is perfect to them. I love that, really, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Some that we identify ourselves more or less, I think, <laughs> most of the booksellers. And uh, she's also a chairwoman of the local trade association and city councillor. And she believes, and I think we more or less agree on that, and uh, we'll talk about that more. She believes that networking and communication online and offline is an important tool for booksellers. Catherine, it's your time now to, you know. Okay. Get back or you know some more I, what is going on in the german market who are you uh, you know what is uh, what is your opinion and uh, i think you can tell it more or less and then some questions after katrin uh, finishes with her um, with her presentation there will be time for you to ask her some questions or even during the what she talks on the q and a and uh, then we go to the to katerina uh, to start her presentation katrin Hello, everybody. Um, I'm very glad for the invitation um, of the Goethe Institute and the Frankfurter uh, Book Fair and the Greek Thessaloniki Book Fair that I'm here to can speak from uh, my home here in Bavarica um, to you. Uh, I hope uh, you can understand. I hope I don't speak so fast. Um, I'll give you a short overview of, um, about how booksellers are organized in Germany. And I have a little presentation made for you and I will start this um, from screen sharing. And later on that, I'll tell you a little bit about my bookshops and about me. I am a bookseller since 1998. And um, together with my colleague, I have a bookshop in Germany since 2006. Okay. So I tell you some facts about the German book market. We have about 6,000 book selling points in Germany. This includes not only the bookshops, also you can buy books in Germany in supermarkets or warehouses. Um, I think something different to the Greek market is that we have several trading chains, big bookstores with have um, uh, many smaller shops, about two, um, two, 1,200 uh, shops. Um, but we also have 3,500 independent bookshops in Germany. Um, we sell the books of 3,000 publishers and the sales volume in Germany is 9.3 billion euros. Um, just the half of them is sold in stationary bookshops uh, and 10% of this um, volume is made by the trading chains. So if you are a small independent uh, bookshop and you have a trading change in your neighborhood, it's not often so funny. The next thing is how come the books to our shops? In Germany, we have um, three wholesale trader. We call them in Germany, bar sortiment. I haven't found any um, translation for this in English. Um, it's a very old word and they deliver the books within 24 hours to the bookstores. Normally, um, till five o'clock in the evening, the people can order the books they want, and then the next morning in, um, at eight o'clock, we have the books in our stores. It's very unique uh, worldwide, I think, the system of getting books to bookstores. 
Also, the bookstores um, buy the books at the publishers directly, and they deliver the books by several distributors within three to five days in the stores. For us booksellers, normally it's better to buy it directly by the publishers, but the books the clients want, so we can um, we buy them at the uh, wholesale trader. No. So, some facts about the German bookshops. Um, the trade chain shops start at 200 square feet, and some of them have 3,700 3, square feet. It's a very big bookshop in Berlin. Um, no, normally, the independent bookshops are between 40 square feet till 200 square feet. And the most of them sell um, fictions and we sell mostly uh, German books. Some of them, or the most of them, sell also English books, but it's not as much, I think, as you sell in Greek in, in English books. Normally, 70,000 books are released every year in Germany. That's a big amount of books. It's a big amount for us to read. Um, and also, I told you, the bookshop can order the books within 24 hours. Many of the bookshops also sell gifts or toys, newspapers or stationery, and some of them have coffee shops or post office. I think that's like in Greece too. One thing that's unique, I think, in Germany is how we are organized. In Germany, we have price maintenance. Um, that means the price of the books is always the same. Um, the books cost the same everywhere, every time. If you buy them online or you buy them offline, the book always has, the German book always has the same price. And we are book traders and publishers are organized in a German organization. It's called Börsenverein. It's also a very old name. You can't translate it really. And this, and they represent the book trade community with the politics and the marketing for us um, and they also give us legal support. They represent the interest of the booksellers, the publishers and the rules say they are not often the same but they really get it very well organized and there's a big um, oh god I don't know the, the name they always always speak to each other and it's a very, we are very glad to have it because they are important so that we um, have the price maintenance. That's a big uh, work they always do. Most of the independent bookshops are online. Two thirds of the German bookshops have an online shop and normally it's usually hosted by the rule sale. So the rule sale made the online shop and we can individually um, um, create them by ourselves. The online shops ships the books and to the clients, but they also offer click and collect. Um, it means you can buy the books online and they were delivered to the bookshop on the next day. So the people can order the books online at home and the bookshop has the books on the next day and the people can um, pick up the books. And also over 1,500 bookshops take part of the Tolio Alliances. That's a cloud-based e-book system. Maybe you know it from the Kindle, from Amazon. We have this um, for the independent bookshops in Germany too. So we also can um, sell e-books and e-readers in our online shops and in our bookshops. Many bookshops are on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and most of them have, not most, many have a YouTube channel. And being online present, being uh, online in Germany is very, very important because the Germans are very big online shoppers. Online shopping is very popular in Germany, that's a problem. And Amazon is one of our biggest competitors. Um, so being online is very important for us. On the right hand side, I have made um, a screenshot from our online shop for you. Um, just you can have a little imagine how it looks like. And last but not least, I have some pictures of our bookshop. This is uh, me and my colleague Helen. We have the bookshop since 2006. 
And Germering is just 10 kilometers in the west of Munich. And there we sell fictions, non-fictions, and we also say, uh, sell uh, non-books and um, newspapers. And we have a little post office in our online shop. I hope I can give you a little overview about how German's bookmark, um, book market is working. And I'm looking forward to hear all your questions and to answer them and be in contact with you. Thank you very much. We had a couple of questions during your, uh, you know, your presentation. Uh, one was if do publishers sell directly to readers through eShops? One first is this a question. What um, if the eBooks or what? Oh, well, if the publisher sell, if the, the publisher can sell directly to the customer through an eShop. Um, yeah, the publishers also have their own online shops, but this is not so big the amount of what they are sell to the people. Um, the books we sell online, they are at the root traders on their stock. Mm -hmm. And then the people can order them online and they will send it for us. And oh. the publishers always have their own um, stock and they also can sell the books there to the clients. Is this what you want to? Uh, well, I suppose that's, yes, that's the question. Because in Greece, uh, a, a lot of the publishers have their own issue, but they send directly, not through anybody else, not through a bookshop or anybody else. They yeah. can send directly through to the customer. Yeah, the publishers also send to the customers, but um, in, in luck for the bookshops, that's not so much. Something common. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it's very, a big market in the... Um, science books ah, okay. science books uh, and how more special the books are the the markets um, is gain, uh, in, is bigger okay okay another question was uh, while your presentation you showed that uh, that the 30 percent of uh, the german books that are coming out uh, every year is fiction you oh, include, no. yeah do you, do you include the translations of that or yeah uh, include of the translation yeah okay okay yeah. that was another question and also, uh, I think one of the questions was if the price of books are protected by the law. Yeah. I think it is. And yeah. uh, also another one was if the Amazon can sell a German book cheaper than the independent, which I don't no. think is the case. Yes. They okay. can't do this. That's our, that's our luck. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, for the, I don't have any other questions yet for uh, you, for the participants. I wanted to ask something myself. Uh, uh, we, well, we haven't talked yet about this, any synergies or alliances uh, that no. uh, not. Uh, do you want to discuss about that right now and say some things? How is the situation? Because it's something that, as I said in my introduction, we are lacking here in, in, in yeah. Greece. And I know it's not the case in Germany. Um, in Germany, we have more um, organizations from independent booksellers to each other. Um, they share their own stock at the world trading. Mm -hmm. So they can order the books for the next day um, to better conditions um, instead of if uh, just only order them at world trading. trading? Oh, yes. World trading. <laughs> and we are all, um, we also organized um, to do um, talk to each other. Um, normally, if we can do um, invite each other and look at our bookstores, talking about what we can do better. And we are also organized um, in things to represent ourselves better um, against the big trading chains, change, to make alliances, to, um, to get some stuff like these um, online shops or the online presentation for us. That's always also, um, um, oh, I missed the word, I'm so sorry. This is also um, one, um, one thing we received about this alliances, to do this, to have this. Okay. Is it, is it on, a, on a local basis only, or, or uh, do you have organization on a local basis or a national basis? Um, we have the big national base in the Börsenverein, and then we have in the federal, um, in the in, in Bavaria and in Baden-Württemberg, um, in the um, 
in the countries we have also um, organizations, but they are linked to the Börsenverein. And then we also have other organizations who work together with them or the work together without them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and they also have their interests um, to represent um, against the vis -vis politics to make the independent booksellers stronger and better. Okay. Uh, uh, while we were talking, there was another question, but I think it's been answered already that uh, I suppose also the publishers cannot send, uh, sell in a cheaper price. Uh, no, they can't. Uh, okay, so it's, it's the, the net price agreement is for everybody, okay? Yes, but um, there's a, a le um, we have the, the legals about the price maintenance, um, the, le uh, the legal is bigger. There are some things, if you buy more than 10 books, then you can get um, um, a discount, but it's very regulated. You know the Germans, everything regulated very okay, yes. strong. <laughs> <laughs> and um, in, in, um, exam, for example, uh, school books, if uh, school buy books, then it's um, regulated how we have to um, give discount to the schools or if someone order 50 books, it's regulated how we have to do, um, what kind of discount we have to give then instead. So um, normally it's the main, pr uh, main um, the price is fixed, but um, if you buy an amount of books, then you can have a discount, but it's always regulated by law. Okay. Uh, so you're more or less protected. Uh, yeah. There are, there are yeah. No, uh, the barriers to entry are very high. If you, if you yeah. know. Yeah, it's all it's all regulated, and we are protected by law, and that's one of the um, most important things the Börsenverein does. It's to protect this um, this law for the German booksellers, so that we always have it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, another question is uh, if uh, from, uh, you know, from uh, the participants is how during the pandemic, uh, how did the government and the, the federal uh, government has supported you, I mean, financially or not financially yeah. or in, in which way anyway? Um, yes, when our shops were closed in spring, um, as in with a bookshop, you can, um, you can get I think it was 8,000 euros. You can, um, you have to fill out documents about documents, many documents, and then you um, could receive this money. And um, German, Germany but is a- loan or is that was in a- No, oh. that depends on the different um, federal countries in Germany, but uh, most of them, you, you received this money. Okay. But you have to to this um, underwrite. Uh, for, it's not for the. Um, uh, you couldn't take this money for um, your. Oh, I don't know the word, uh, for your um, workers. Oh, okay. No, and not for the loan meter. Sorry, yes, to, yes, to pay the loan, you mean, to pay yes. your loan. Yes, okay. Just, you can't uh, use it, just, but you can, you, you could use it for um, the books you bought and... Oh, okay, can, for, for the this. inventory, okay, for the yeah. inventory and everything, but not use it to pay uh, the working staff as well. You no, mean, and not it, use to do, do uh, not to forgive, um, not to take um, food or stuff like this, uh, just for yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> this. I understand. And it's a, uh, it, it, it was great that we received it, but uh, every, everybody, everyone who has an own bookshop knows 8,000 euros don't pay everything. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, let me see. I don't think anything else at the moment. So we might, uh, I have also a couple of questions more, but uh, let me keep them for the end. Okay, yeah. so uh, <laughs> and maybe there are some more questions from uh, the participants as well yeah. in the meantime. Okay, uh, thank you very much. One more time.